What is up you guys? In today's video, we're gonna be talking about NEO and what price point you should be buying NEO at. NEO has been dropping so much and right now we are almost at the support level. So I'm gonna go on the laptop really quick here and show you guys a technical analysis for the stock NEO. Okay, so right now we have NEO on the chart here and I'm gonna show you guys a technical analysis. So we have the Fibonacci chart here. This is something I like to use to just determine uh, the support and uh, resistance levels of the stock. And as you can see here, I'm currently waiting for us to see a double bottom on NEO at that $13 mark. I do think at that price point, we're gonna see the RSI showing that it's oversold. And when it's usually here at the oversold mark, you can see that it bounces up and it tries to reach that moving average again. So we can go here and basically show you the weekly and you can kind of see that it has resistance here it hits the support breaks down hits this other support hits this support resistance and i do think we're going to probably see a double bottom here at neo hitting that 13 dollar mark if we do see it i drew a little uh blue rectangle here these are like my really really buying areas if I wanted to buy it NEO long term. So around that $13 mark is very ideal. If we break that $13 mark and go lower, the next target we're gonna see is around that $10.50 average. If we go back here on the chart, you can see that there's a support level around here. And I do think that would be probably the next target we hit if it breaks down below 13 i'm really not sure it's going to break down below 13 because i feel like the market's almost at its bottom right now and everything has dropped so much in such a short period of time it usually it's like a rubber band effect if it drops really fast it's going to climb up uh, a little bit faster so um you have to take that into consideration and you see amazon dropped a lot and drum Amazon, I do think the market's gonna bounce after Amazon probably hits that 2,200 mark. And it's almost there, it's currently at 2,300. And I do think the market is almost at its bottom. So I do think we might see a double bottom here at that $13 mark. And from there, we're gonna see it trend up. So I'm just gonna give you guys a couple of indicators. So $13 and then if it hits that $19 is the resistance for the next um, trend if it breaks that we're gonna see 23 28 35 and 44 these are the numbers to consider when trading NEO um, let's see if it you know if it breaks above 19 the next mark for it you're gonna probably be seeing at 23 so you can use these a lot for swing trades or call options or put options as well. I like to use these indicators, especially when I do my option trades and trying to get a feel for the market. I did have a call on Amazon. I was bullish on earnings and you know, I had a $3,000 call on Amazon. If I was right, I was gonna be making about like 120,000 and I was wrong. It was a 50-50 bet gamble. I lost it, so it happens, you know, like, but you can see the R size showing that it's super oversold here. And we're about to show it that it's gonna be oversold here. I do think we're gonna see a double bottom, like I said, at $13. If you have any questions, comments, ideas, your thoughts, your inputs, leave them in the comment section down below. I'd love to hear them. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you can. I really appreciate it. Peace.